Hotfix 0.6.1 has fixed a lot of issues in Pagan Online. I'm Dyworm and today let's go over the changes and how they impacted the endgame in Pagan Online. Starting with the gauntlet, rewards have been significantly increased. This was mentioned by Twitch chat and I noticed it too. The chests in these gauntlets now drop actual loot which is worth taking so that's great. I did a master difficulty gauntlet 5 yesterday together with Lost Squirrel and we both got a legendary blueprint. That is a proper reward I feel and I'm happy with that. All these changes mean to me that the gauntlet is heading in the right direction, but it's not there yet entirely. For example, gauntlet 5 didn't drop any trophies. This means that you're basically spending 120 trophies and those are not easy to get and you get none in return. That seems a bit steep. Apart from that, the gauntlet to me is still a little boring and I just can't really put myself to playing it for more than 4 times in a row. It's just too repetitive for my taste. I feel some more mechanics maybe around the gauntlet or a few different arenas or something else that distinguishes the gauntlet 1 from the gauntlet 2 would be really appreciated. Up next, shroud gauges. I had two issues with these things. First, they are very rare. Second, they dropped worthless items. They are still pretty rare, although there is of course a lot of variation. Some people found plenty shroud gauges, I found about 2 in 7 hours of running endgame patrols and expeditions. Maybe they can occur a bit more often, I found them in about 10-15% to of the instances perhaps. What definitely changed is the content of shroud gauges. Right now there is a significant chance to get a legendary blueprint out of a shroud gauge, at least 50%. And that is great, it's what I requested in my previous video. As a result, I I'm now actually excited about finding a shroud cage because of the rewards. Oh, shroud cage! Oh! And almost instantly died. <laughs> Good job by Mad at Games. Also fixed is the Idol of Wisdom. Quite simply put, it was broken. Everything worked up to the point where you should receive your additional potency point. And before this patch, you didn't. It's fixed, I've gained 6 additional potency points on Valeria so far and this mechanic seems mostly fine. My only critique is that also here, I feel the spawn rate of these idols is quite low. According to the patch notes, it has been increased, but I haven't found that many. I would love to get these things a bit more often so I can gather the potency points and create more builds for heroes. In the current iteration of Isles of Wisdom I need to farm endgame patrols and expeditions for around 10 hours per character in order to get the maximum amount of potency points. Others have had similar spawn rates. You see these appear roughly once every hour of farming. It's not the worst but it would mean 80 hours of farming to get all additional potency points on all the heroes. I'll leave it up to you to judge whether you think that is decent or not. We can discuss some of these things live as well in my stream. Feel free to drop by Monday, Wednesday and Friday 8pm on twitch.tv slash thyworm. Apart from these major improvements there were a bunch of smaller ones. Some crashes have been fixed, the mirror's wolves have been fixed and other small things are fixed too. I'm not going into that, I will link to the patch notes down below. I think the real question is where does hotfix 0.6.1 leave us? I would say in a pretty decent place. This patch makes Pagan Online definitely more enjoyable to play. And this should be the main reason you're playing games anyway. And this patch added to the fun I had in Pagan Online. To me, as someone who's a bit in the middle between casual and hardcore gaming, I feel especially some of the endgame mechanics need a bit of work, primarily the gauntlet. But we know Mad Hat listens to feedback. This hotfix proves that once again. And I think we can be pretty happy as a community that our feedback, comments and a video like this really contribute to a better, more enjoyable game. Thanks for watching and making it to the end. I will see you soon. Bye bye.